I look at the sky, I think it's certainly very pretty, and I often wonder, you know, what are places in the universe and so on. But the kind of things that we are interested in, cosmologically speaking, are really quite distant from what you can see with the naked eye. Basically, what we want to understand is um, what a large fraction, 95% of the universe is made of. We want to understand the dark universe. So if you're interested in understanding the fundamental principles of, of existence, right, then you have to understand 95% of the universe is made up of what we now call dark energy and dark matter. And dark energy is a sort of mysterious thing that is causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. Dark matter, on the other hand, is, is a new type of matter that we are certain is out there. So one of the great mysteries is, what is this stuff? Where does it come from? The project we are working on is about um, simulating the universe, basically from its starts to the structures that we see today. And so the project has two pieces. One piece is to produce the most detailed simulation of the universe that has ever been done. And the second part of the project is to investigate different models of dark energy and to see if we can understand um, the origin and the nature of dark energy. Needless to say, the universe is an enormously complicated system. One of the nice things about supercomputers is that they allow you to take things that you can write down as equations and then you can give them to the computer and the computer can produce all the complicated ramifications of these ideas for you. So what we will be able to do is to actually simulate a very large portion of the observable universe and do it with very high um, resolution so we can see very small structures in the simulation. For the first time we can actually take an observed survey and in effect put it the entire thing inside a computer, basically produce a virtual universe that can be modeled to look very close to the survey. And that's a new thing. What happens when you look at the universe is that it's a you know, marvelous system and, and if you can certainly take a poetic view of it. You can say you can look at pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope and say you know, these are very beautiful and that's certainly true. But, and as Feynman emphasized this very strongly, just the fact that you can understand these things doesn't make them any less marvelous. They're as beautiful as they were when you didn't understand but now you add an extra layer. So cosmology, which is the science of the universe, is concerned with Questions like, you know, what are the dynamics of the universe? How is it evolving? What's inside it? How do structures form in the universe? So we are trying to answer all of these questions within this one simulation. Mm -hmm.